an about face for a school board anxious to talk about universal masking. Instead of waiting until next month, it has now placed the item on the school board agenda for Tuesday. The appropriate thing, the responsible thing to do now, we're about halfway through, is collect data from the school systems, from the stakeholders, the parents, the students, administrators, health officials. Carroll County School Board President Marsha Herbert says she'll be among those testifying at the virtual school board meeting. Carroll County had an optional mask mandate before being forced by the state to drop it. And in recent months, there's been some opposition to mask wearing from Anne Arundel County to Baltimore County and from organizations like the Baltimore County Parent and Student Coalition. I was surprised, pleasantly surprised. I think that it's um, to their credit that they heard some feedback from the public and that they're going to evaluate and look at the data that is impacting their decisions for the statewide mask mandate. The Maryland State Education Association issued this statement. We continue to see masking as a key part of a multi-layered strategy to keep students, educators, and families safe as infection rates remain stubbornly high and vaccines are just becoming available to our youngest learners. The state board says it'll take vaccinations into account during next week's meeting. Well, we're going to definitely look at vaccinations. We're going to look at other uh, things. I think there's a a pill or something that's being considered. So we're going to take into account all of those things. The current universal masking policy is set to expire in February. Again, that state school board meeting is virtual. It takes place at 1 o'clock on Tuesday. To send written comments, go to our WBAL-TV 11 News app. Live in North Baltimore, Tim Tootin, WBAL-TV 11 News.